and welcome to my channel. I'm Elle and this channel is dedicated in helping you learn about ethical fashion. In today's video, we will be talking about fast fashion CEOs and their impact on the industry. So if you don't know what fast fashion is, it's basically the staple of the fashion industry. It basically offers quick and affordable clothing to consumers, but really at like what cost? What really is fast fashion though? So basically before I get into it, I want to explain it. So fast fashion is a term used to describe the fast paced production and turnover of cheap, trendy clothing. Brands release new collections at a rapid pace, often copying high-end designer pieces and then selling them at a fraction of the price. The goal is to get consumers to buy more and more often. So what is the impact of fast fashion? So fast fashion has become a major contributor to environmental issues such as water pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, and waste. The low prices often come at the expense of workers as well in developing countries who work long hours for low wages and unsafe working conditions. According to Tatiana Destiny Stato and her research Research article for Foreman University titled Fast Fashion and Sustainability, the case of Inditex and Zara. The academia surrounding Amancio Ortega, which is the creator of Inditex Zara, refers to him as a creator and pioneer of the fast fashion business model. Inditex themselves describe their way of doing business as combining creativity and quality design together with their response to market demands with the democratization of fashion. And the tech Zara also explained they aim to please their customers' demands by cutting time in which new clothes become available in its stores. And the text was basically saying though, hey, we make huge amounts of products for the general public that are meant for mass consumption, but hey, we're saying the market, you want it and want it fast, but we also make and push this clothing to you because we, we swear we're good people. We really want clothing to be more accessible and like, we're really not just doing this for the money. We're not money hungry. And so fast fashion companies rely on vertical integration design, rapid production, and distribution to produce collections every week. And then vertical integration is when a company manages production stages that are traditionally handled and operated by separate companies. And fast fashion models must be based on responsiveness, flexibility, and rapid change, and where the supply chain is agile to work with these elements. The low cost of fast fashion ultimately makes it enticing for everyday consumers to buy into this model, all which without really understanding the cost behind fashion. But in contrast to the fast fashion model, sustainable fashion companies aim to reduce harmful social and environmental impacts of their operations. And they also aim to improve the lives of workers involved in the production of their products. So there's some key elements they utilize in their supply chain, which include ethical labor practices. So they basically try to to ensure to their workers in their supply chain that they're paid fair wages and are treated with dignity and respect. They also try to use eco-friendly materials where they prioritize things like organic cotton, recycled polyester, and biodegradable materials. And then there's elements of transparency, which is when they provide clear and open information about their supply chain, which include the source of materials, manufacturing processes, and working conditions. And then there's also minimal waste, so they aim to reduce waste by using sustainable materials like I said and also minimizing overproduction and then there's also circular design which is when they design the products within a closed loop system in mind considering really the entire life cycle of the product not only from production to disposal and then there's collaboration they want to work with suppliers customers and all stakeholders to really promote their sustainable practices and companies with a sustainable supply chain can report themselves based on three sustainable sustainability pillars, which are economic, social, and environmental measures. They can also look at ethics by considering their social responsibility to the world and the people in it. And let's consider the role of fast fashion CEOs. So fast fashion CEOs play a significant role in shaping the industry because their decisions really shape their companies. They're responsible for setting the vision, the strategy, and direction of their company. Some CEOs have taken steps to make their companies more sustainable. While 
while others continue to unfortunately prioritize profit over environmental and social rights. So fast fashion CEOs and their business practices. Let's get into it. So Stefan Person, which is the former chairman of H&M, is also known as Heinz and Moritz AB, and it's basically a Swedish multinational clothing retail company. Stefan is the former chairman of the company and is actually Sweden's richest person through H&M's fast fashion collections, of which he owns 36%. H&M was founded by Person's father's Erling in 1947, and Person stepped down as chairman in May 2020 after 22 years in the role, and now his son Carl Johan succeeded him. While H&M has made efforts to become more sustainable, it is widely acknowledged that fast fashion, of which H&M is a major player, has harmful impacts on the environment and on the workers within its supply chain. Fast fashion is obviously characterized by the production of low-cost, trendy clothing at a rapid pace, but it also comes at the expense, major expense, of its workers. And so some other specific ways that H&M's fast fashion practice has been harmful has included, like I mentioned, environmental degradation. The production of fast fashion requires massive amounts of resources, like energy, water, and raw materials. And then there's waste generation. Fast fashion creates a large amount of waste, both in the form of unsold clothing and the disposal of clothes that are worn out quickly. And then there's poor labor conditions. So fast fashion relies on low-cost labor in countries with weak labor laws, leading to poor working conditions for workers in its supply chain. And then there's a complete disregard for human rights. Fast fashion companies have been criticized for not ensuring that their workers in the supply chain have their human rights respected. H&M may have made some efforts, obviously, to address some of these issues, but they continue to be a major player in fast fashion, and their practices have contributed to the harmful impacts of this industry. Amancio Ortega, founder and chairman of Inditex, which owns Zara. Amancio Ortega and his companies Zara and Inditex have developed a fast fashion model that has changed the fashion industry in totality and without completely but super close to mimicking it, other brands like BB Forever 21 and like Charlotte Russe and all these other brands are adopters of fast fashion in the US. It's because they're releasing lines super quickly and at a massive discounted price. And currently Ortega owns about 60% of Madrid's listed Inditex text which owns eight brands which include Massimo, Duty, Pull and Bear, and 7,500 stores around the world. Ortega typically earns more than 400 million dollars in dividends a year. And then in November 2021, his daughter Marta Ortega Perez became chairperson in April 2022. It is believed that really the key to fast fashion and to Zara's success is owning the whole supply chain, from factory to retail and dealing in small batches that sell quickly. And the vertical integration of Zara's factory has meant performing the more capital and value added intensive stages of production internally, from purchasing the raw materials, designing, cutting, dyeing, quality control, ironing, packaging, labeling, distribution, and logistics, and then outsourcing the more labor-intensive and less value-added intensive stages of production, such as sewing. Company executives like Ortega make these decisions to reduce costs, delivery dates, and returns. And it's also good to know that while some producers may view fashion products products as durable goods for consumers, and the text doesn't. They consider them non-durables with sell-by periods of four weeks. And Enditex emphasizes the speed of its response to customer demands more than low cost, which they do by producing closer to where their clothing will be sold to reduce lead times. So basically business operations are very strategic and because while the standard design to retail cycle in the industry is typically five to six months, Inditex cycle is only five weeks. The shorter design to retail cycle allows Inditex to bring more styles to its stores and allows them to update them more constantly. And it also increases Inditex ability to adjust to fashion's trends. And if a product is unsuccessful, Inditex can then quickly cancel further production to avoid mass clearance sales that plague rivals and are incredibly profit draining. And so other clothing retailers such as like Gap and J. Crew, Walmart, Target, all these fast fashion brands are essentially copying elements of the fast fashion model based on Inditex practices 
by selling fast clothing at cheap prices and limited editions. The need for change is clear. It's clear that fast fashion CEOs have a big impact on the industry and the world around us. It's important for consumers to hold these CEOs accountable for the decisions they're making and to demand more sustainable and ethical practices within their supply chain. But brands like H&M and Inditex Zara, even if they do take steps forward towards sustainability, they are essentially rooted in exploitation and ultimately will never be sustainable. This is why the slow fashion movement is critical to help us adopt alternatives and to create change within fast fashion. I really do hope that this video allowed you to learn a lot about fast fashion, its CEOs, and the impact it has on workers and the world around us. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I upload every Sunday and let me know if you want to see anything specific from me. I will see you in the next video. Peace and love. Out. Oh.